crystallization journey. The space in which we have settled to this guided journey is now sacred, a place of power in which to commune with great spirit. Before we began, we set out a medicine wheel in which to meditate, marking directions with crystals and your sacred tools, feathers, shells, horn, herbs. If you have any rose quartz, even better. If you haven't or can't physically imagine it, create one in your mind with you sitting at the centre. Attune yourself now to the energies of this space as you relax and become aware of your breathing. When your breathing is settled into a regular rhythm, you know you have aligned yourself with the sacred circle. Take three deep, full breaths. Expand your stomach as you inhale. And let the air flow into the diaphragm first before filling the upper portions. And as you do this, imagine white crystal light flowing from the crystal at the center of the circle into your solar plexus chakra. And as you exhale, suck the stomach up under your ribs, forcing the air out. And as you do, visualize rose crystal light streaming from your solar plexus back into the crystals that form the rim of our circle, forming a medicine wheel of crystal rose colored light. Now reverse your breathing. As you inhale, this time suck your stomach in and visualize a ray of rose light streaming from rock to rock. As you exhale, this time, expand your stomach and collapse your chest and lungs as you visualize the rose ray streaming now from the crystals into your solar plexus. See yourself as a rose flame and return to the normal deep breaths. Take three more deep, full breaths, and as you inhale, see the rose flame within growing ever brighter. As you exhale, visualize the rose-colored light flowing from your heart into the circle of rose fire surrounding you, growing brighter too, in rhythm with you and your breath. And as you relax your breathing, ask for your coup's full attention. Ask your coup, your subconscious, to use the energy, the mana, you have gathered to send a message, a prayer if you like, to your carne, to your higher self or superconscious. Send a message of love and thanks for all the help and good fortune you have received recently through your higher self, whether you noticed or not. And ask your carne to add its special energy to this place of power, this circle. Ask to be allowed to experience mana loa, prana, chi, divine creative energy. Ask for as much as you need. Concentrate your awareness upon your third eye until a spark of light appears to your mind's eye. Allow the spark to grow larger. Feed it with your breath and your intent. 
let it rise up within you until you can visualize it about your hands width above the crown of your head. See it as a glowing crystal sphere with a flame of white light at its center. Now, become aware of your surroundings. Imagine energy pouring into and out of each and every member of every realm of nature. Feel the energy flowing out from the trees, the grass, flowers, rocks, soil, mountains, native and domestic animals, creeks and rivers, close friends and loved ones. In short, your whole environment in a chaotic golden dance. Pure life force choreographing the chaos into a dance of harmony within the crystal sphere. Imagine all that golden light showering out from the crystal globe over your head and shoulders, bathing you in mana. You may feel some physical sensation. You may be a tingling over your whole body, a tingling up and or down your spine or butterflies in your tummy, or just a state of inner excitement. Picture yourself glowing with vital force, drill, squan, prana, kudra, awan, chi, baraka. Divine, creative energy. I'm going to leave you with it for a few minutes. If you feel concentration wandering, gently bring it back to the crystal sphere above the crown of your head and go through some breathing exercises to help center you and clarify the imagery. Become aware of your breathing again. Picture yourself in a place you know and love, a familiar place, a garden, a park, a forest glade, perhaps somewhere you know, or somewhere you know from your imagination. Lay down in the grass, feel the warmth of the sun on your body. Smell the earthy aroma of the soil. Hear the sounds of your special place. Birds singing. Water running. Trees rustling. Walk around and smell the flowers. Stand with the tree for a moment or three, hugging it. Feel the texture of the bark, the flows of energy beneath that bark. Share breath with your standing brother. Turn and lean your back against the trunk of the tree and look around you until you spot a little path leading off into the forest. Follow the path. As you walk, continue to be aware of your surroundings. You feel a soft, gentle breeze bringing with it a cleansing sun shower. And as the shower passes, you notice the rainbow descending, ending in a splash of colours on the path in front of you. And as you approach the rainbow, now an almost solid wall of colours 
soaring into the sky. One colour in particular will stand out from the others, start to vibrate in harmony with you, calling to you. Step into the beam of colour that attracts you. You are now inside a cylinder of pure colour. Feel it around you. Breathe in the colour. See yourself filling up with the colour from the feet upward, as if your body is a glass casing. When you are totally immersed in the colour, filled with it, let it draw you up. Feel yourself soaring into the sky, flying through a cylinder of pure colour, one section of the rainbow. And as you fly, look around, observe the landscape below. And as you begin to descend on the other side of the rainbow, you will notice that you are approaching a building. The rainbow ends in a courtyard at the entrance to a temple, your temple. As you draw closer in your covered cylinder, observe the style of architecture, the layout, the setting until you are touching down in the courtyard. Approach the door to the temple and knock. You will be greeted by your guide who will invite you inside. Eventually your guide leads you to a crystal clear pond of water beside which you sit. Waterfall tumbles over rocks at one end. An aura of silver and magic permeates all, like a mist rising from the pond. Take off your clothes and dive in. Swim about and let the water cleanse and energize you. This is no ordinary water. It is saturated with pure life force, scintillating squire. Feel your skin tingling as it washes over you. Breathe in the water, knowing that it is more than ordinary water. It is Mana Loa. This is the sacred medicine river. Swim to the waterfall and sit under it. Allow it to wash over you. Feel it pouring over your head and shoulders. Feel the water actually pouring into your head through the crown. Feel it coursing through your body, washing all dross before it. Feel it rinsing your very cells, replenishing them with mana lower, reprogramming each individual cell back into a pattern of wholeness and harmony. When you're ready, Swim back to the water's edge and sit beside your guide again. Shahi will give you a robe to wear, a silk robe glowing with one of the colours of the rainbow. Your guide will now take you to the crystal room, a six-sided room carved from the living rock crystal, and 
just nearby the pool. Inside, around the walls, are many, many pictures, each one a hologram, recording an event in your life in which you were hurt in some way, physically, mentally, or spiritually. Walk around and remember, but don't get emotionally involved. Just walk and look. Turn away now and focus your awareness on the centre of the room. Exactly in the centre is what appears to be a large drain hole, plugged by a very large amethyst crystal. Go to the centre and stand above and over the crystal and drain hole. Reach down and remove the crystal. Unplugging the drain and bring the amethyst crystal up to hold over your heart. As you do this, you notice not only is this beautiful crystal double terminated, but also that the room itself is starting to spin. As you admire all the little flecks and internal flaws for the exquisite fire they add, you note know that each crystal, each crystal flash of light from within the crystal is actually a laser beam and each hologram on the wall is connected to the amethyst crystal by these solid rays of light. And as the room spins, faster and faster. Each picture, each holographic record, contracts on itself, collapsing into a tiny mandala, a pattern unique unto itself, an energy signature, or crystallization pattern. And now, each of these little pockets of grief start to dissolve with the increasing speed of the spin until it is sucked along a light fibre and into the amethyst. When every hologram has dissolved into your crystal, which still throbs and pulses as you, as you hug it to your heart, lower the crystal until you are pointing it at the drainage hole in the centre of the floor. The drain is a vortex of energy, sucking all the information contained within the crystal. All the negative patterns you had stored in your body, out and away. Watch the energy spiral out from the crystal in a stream of lavender light and disappear down the drain, disappearing into the centre of the earth, deep into Mother Earth, into the fires of Gaia, to be transmuted into healing energy, love. It is the love of a mother for her child, the love of the earth mother, for one of her children coming home after a long journey. 
as the last of the energy is embraced, transmuted by Mother Earth, watches it starts to spiral back on itself. Sapphire blue and ruby red, beams of light spiraling around each other, like making snakes, back up the drain hole and back into the amethyst. As the crystal fills with light and love, you notice the room spinning and slowing down. When the amethyst is completely full, it starts to overflow, filling you as well with its light. And when you are full, the spinning room will have stopped completely. Place the amethyst back in the plug hole and leave the crystal room, knowing that you have released all your past negative experiences, all the old crystallization patterns stored within your body as aches and pains and illness have gone, replaced with love and light. Return to the pool and the waterfall where you, you will find your guide waiting. Thank your guide for the help received and ask to be shown back to the courtyard where you will find your rainbow. Step inside your tube of colour and start the journey back to your special place, back through the coloured cylinder. And as you descend, Start to become aware of your breathing again. When you are back in your garden, take three deep, full breaths and ask your subconscious, your ku, yeah. to pay full attention again. Thank your ku for the experience.